Just do it. Just go. Go. Don't be afraid. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Sell the clothes. What does it have to be? Warm welcome. Wow, Elle, you look fabulous. Hello, gorgeous. Look at Elle McPherson, ladies and gentlemen. What a wonderful warm welcome. Elle. Uh, yes, sir. Well, uh, now, uh, how exciting it is to have you here. I'm thrilled you finally came on the show. I've been a fan of yours for years. Thank like you very Tim much. as and well. Likewise. Um, uh, but is it, is it true? Because I know you have uh, you have a couple of boys. You have two uh, young. I thought fellas. you were going to say something else there for a second. <laughs> yes, I have two sons. Uh, and it's been their school sports day this week. You were at the sports day. I was at the sports day this week. Did morning. you join in? Do you compete? Do you, are you one of these mums who does the egg and spoon race and joins in like that? No, or? the kids do the egg and spoon race, but they do have like the mother's race and the father's race and the brothers and sisters race. I didn't do the mother's race though. Have you I done really it in the past? Didn't. I have done it in the past. I bet I was... you're because you've got the legs and stuff. I bet you're quite a good one, aren't you? Do you know what? I'm not that good. I mean, I'm not that good at the school sports race. So, um, and this time I decided not to do it because I had a skirt on and I thought, you know, it'd be just my luck. I'd fall over, my skirt would flash up, my son would go, Mum, please don't do that. You do that every time. So I yeah, said, I can verify that. <laughs> yes, indeed. Uh, let me just say, how old are your kids now? How old are, you, how old are your boys? I have a 12 and 7 year old. So, I mean, they're nearly 13 and 8. Okay. Uh, well, they're, nearly they're, a teenager. Uh, I was just going to say, teenage years, of course, they're the ones that, you know, as parents, we, we rather dread. But so far, he's, he's not shown any of those signs of being a kind of a tricky teenager? No. He's really cool. He's really cool, except for he says to me things like that I don't know anything about fashion. <laughs> I said, excuse me, and he goes, Mom, I'm really sorry, but you don't understand. You don't know anything about fashion. I said, wait a second, isn't that my business? And then he'll say things to me like, um, uh, Mom, you think cashmere is cool. You don't understand. It's all about polo fleece. <laughs> so he's telling you what you should be wearing. I, I, he's telling me what he should be wearing. Is it not strange? But uh, I suppose they're just used to you being a model. They know that you're you're model. You've been a model all their life, all of their course, life, since yeah. before they were born. But do their friends ever say, "Wow, your mum's"? Because you're a stunning woman, of course. And they're getting to the age where they're going to be looking at the mums at school and going, "Why is, why is my mum not look like your mum?" <laughs> you, know, you, know, you know what I'm saying? No. I mean, I don't like to talk about him on television okay. because he's going to go, Mum, why are you talking about me on TV? I but understand. Listen, uh, Elle, uh, when, when did you first get the nickname The Body? How did that come about? Was, you, that, was <coughs> that when you were... When was that? When you first started modelling? When I first started modelling, it was about 1986. I started in 82, and uh, Time magazine did a cover of... But uh, well, as you from one of the... I guess about oh that time, would that be right? Oh, my God. That was, must have been in the 80s. Check those high-legged thing. That was very I can't believe you're a model because you're not even attractive. It has to be so... <laughs> I'm How about you that 10 you, there. You, yeah, you're gorgeous. <laughs> um, so that, about the time, who, who gave you the it's nickname? Time Magazine. And it was called The Big L. And then they started off with this idea of the body. And, um, you know, it was really a kind of... It was a funny catch phase. And then it just kept going and going. And then I thought, you know, better make a business out of this. You know what, sir? Uh, I was thinking about you. And I'm, as I said, I was delighted to do, right? the show. As you do, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, but I was thinking, well, isn't it... Isn't it interesting, isn't that unusual, that, that you and the other women who came to kind of the, the fore in modelling at the same period, mm. you, uh, Claudia Schiffer, Naomi Campbell, yeah. um, Christy Churlington, um, not only did you become perhaps the most famous models that we've ever had, but also you're still all working, you're still all successful as models and as businesswomen, mm. which is really unusual. And, of course, that's when the, the phrase supermodel first came into use. Right. What was it about the, your group, those group of women and you, that, that enabled you to do that? And... and what is it that you have that's allowed you to carry on that, that others didn't have perhaps? Uh, Jonathan, that's a really interesting question. I asked myself that. I think what happened was the 80s was a period of extravagance everywhere. And um, there was a real need for sort of dynamic, glamorous women. And I don't think Hollywood was providing it. I think women in Hollywood wanted to be perceived as being intelligent. They wanted to take a step back from being glamorous. And then, you know, there was the rise of the fashion industry with, you know, MTV and fashion TV and... And, uh, and, and we just happened to have been at the right place at the right time, you know? And I think fashion had a lot to do with it. Gianni Versace, Azzedine Alaya, created these beautiful silhouettes of women yeah. with, you know, shoes like this and a body like, um, you know, amazing big hair. And, you know, you couldn't help but stop when one of those girls walked into the room. And then it just sort of stuck. 
Um, did you? Is there competition between you and the other uh, models from that kind of wave of models? I mean, do you look at what Naomi's doing and Claudia's yeah. doing and say, well, you know, who's the, who's doing the best? Is there any? And do you see each other much? Well, Claudia, oh, you say Claudia, I say Claudia. Claudia, son, and my son go to school together, so we see each other every day. And um, the, our conversation is really about how well they went in the swimming race yeah. and what this. Do they know the seven times tables? Mum stuff. <laughs> so yeah. More that than anything else. Do and you cook and stuff like that? Are you a, a homebody? I do cook. I, one of the big things that I always wanted my children to see me cook their dinner every night, which I do. And, I'm and the first person they see in the morning. I'm the last person they see in bed. And do they like eating your food or are you <laughs> not? <all> day <laughs> we have a set menu. We have a set menu. Can you imagine? You we do, you know, like Friday's fish, Thursday's. Um, steak, Wednesday's chicken, Tuesday's veal, Monday's, mm, I don't know, depends. L, L. <laughs> I've, I've got the idea. Um, so it's a, <laughs> Sorry, that's so boring. It's a, it's a set menu, I know. It's a, it's been to the same meal every night. Do you, uh, do you unwind cooking? Do you like that? What do you do to unwind? So you've had a very stressful day. Oh, God, I, which is most days. Um, I listen to music, I write, I read. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty boring. You're I'm nearly not, I, 50, baby. What do you expect me to do? You're not nearly 50. You're to go out and, like, boogie to get no, rid no, of my no, stress. No, no, no. <laughs> I just wonder what you did. Um, but you're not nearly 50. How old are you? I am. I'm 46, turning 47. 46, wow. Yeah. There's no way I would say you were 46. Yeah. Although there's no way I would say I was 44. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, I'd be proud of that. Yeah. Good-looking boy. Okay, let me 